<laughs> and what do you think of the results so far? I don't. Coming? Well, I think I think it's remarkable that, uh, given that the astonishing results that we've had, and the fact that everything's been wrong about a clear uh, majority Conservative government, including me, uh, there are four million people out there that have voted for UK. It's a lot of people, and I'm struck. I'm struck that a party that gets half of the vote in one part of the United Kingdom gets nearly 100% of the seats, and another party that, as I say, gets four million votes is going to have very little representation. And I think, I think longer term, that's going to make people quite frustrated. I think the desire for change will be very strong after this. But you're not going to be in a position to be able to change it without more MPs in Parliament. It's going to be very difficult because the establishment will not want change. I mean, that is absolutely perfectly clear. Uh, they will not want change. However, the election cycles in Britain being what they are, you know, we've got Welsh Assembly elections and London elections and who knows by elections and so I don't know and I look at I look at the sort of percentage scores UKIP's getting in South Wales in the northeast of England in parts of the country where we didn't even exist five years ago basically so I think UKIP supporters will be very pleased that we've scored a lot of votes but there has been a change in our vote there's no doubt but quite a lot of our older voters who've supported us in the county elections and supported us in the European elections have, for fear of the SNP, left us for the moment and voted Conservative. What is really clear is that the pick-up in vote has been our success on social media and it's now the under-30s that are beginning to vote for UKIP in significant numbers. And I think what that means for UKIP as a party, I think it's going to change quite radically. I think it's going to be... Um, become a more radical campaigning party for political reform, social reform, um, and, I, and I, th I, think, I think what you'll see UKIP become is a very young, um, very active political force. So uh, yes, there, w there will be disappointment, but uh, as far as the UKIP story is concerned, we're just going to begin a different chapter. Very interesting points there.